name is Peter Truboff. I'm currently senior counsel at Covington and Burling um, in Washington, D.C. Uh, the course is titled Globalization, Personal Jurisdiction, and the Internet, Responding to the Challenge of Adapting Subtle Principles and Precedents. The focus of the course is globalization and the usage of the Internet. Uh, it deals with questions of um, private international law and in particular, personal jurisdiction. When does a court have adjudicatory authority to hear a case over a particular individual or legal entity? And that's a question that's been around for a long time, of course, first with people being present in a jurisdiction. And then when we got new technology like telephone, telegraph uh, and postal service, again, the question of when should a person be subject to the court's jurisdiction? Um, we've learned to apply the principles that have evolved over the many years with the other technologies, but the internet presents a particularly challenging uh, uh, issue because it's, of course, it's ubiquitous. So for example, if I'm a publisher and my publication goes all over the world, can you sue me anywhere in the world? If I'm a hotel person and sold you a reservation, uh, can I sue you where I saw your ad, even if I, uh, you don't have any presence here? So there are a whole, and those are real cases, frankly, uh, the whole series of issues. Um, the United States Supreme Court has had the opportunity to address some of those issues, and every time it's been asked to do so, it has carefully ducked them. Well, I think the course is important and the issues are important for actually a bunch of reasons, but I'll start with the fact that every country is going to have to deal with this. And so every lawyer is going to have to deal with them. Uh, they raise fundamental questions of fairness, of foreseeability and efficient adjudication. Um, the scholars are trying to sort through the principles and I discuss many scholarly efforts that have been made to do so. And finally, there will come a day long before many years from now, when you'll try to get some international agreement on these principles. So it's a subject that every lawyer is going to have to deal with at some point in his or her career. Well, what you might not expect is that there's a continuity between what courts have done in the past with new technologies and what they do here. Uh, more so than many think when they take the internet presents whole new issues. There's a scholarly work in this country saying they're really all not that new. 